What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for SeCl4. Or it is called Selenium Tetrachloride. So the first thing I need to do, I need to find out total available valence electrons. which will be 6 for selenium and 4 times 7 for chlorine because we have 4 atoms we need to multiply it by 4 so 28 plus 6 is going to be 34 so we are looking for 34 electrons so we place SE in the middle and we have chlorine, chlorine, chlorine and chlorine in here then we place one pair of electrons between each pair of atoms and every two of these dots represents a bonding electron pair between these atoms. And then I place pairs of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then I need to count how many available electrons we still have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 16 times 2, 32. So 34 minus 32. We still have two available electrons. As you see here, chlorine follows octet rule. So we need to place these two electrons on the selenium. So at the end, it's going to be like that. And you have bond single bond between chlorine and selenium chlorine follows the octet rule however selenium doesn't follow octet rule so that's going to be the lewis structure of selenium tetrachloride i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question thank you for watching and have a great day